Hello. Well, today I just kind of wanted to say, why do I like Star Wars? Um, well, one is uh, very good movies. Um, love this one in particular, though I've already said that quite a bit, so you probably know that. Um, I primarily like the George Lucas films. I'm not really fond of the Disney movies. Um, I'm sure there are people who really enjoy the Disney films who are watching this, and, you know, that is uh, quite all right. Um, good as it will get. Um, and that's fine if you like the Disney movies. Uh, I've expressed my displeasure from them, of them through uh, my videos. First I thought Force Awakens was good, but after like a month I'm like, it's not. Um, yeah. On Twitter, I I'm a bit more vocal about them, but I will say, I think Twitter kind of brings out a trollish side to people. Uh, social media seems to do that quite a bit. Here I'm able to usually uh, articulate my points quite a lot better. You know, They're quite more put together because you also have only a certain amount of characters you can have for Twitter, and, it's, and you can keep going and adding to what your point is, but you don't want to uh, send a whole bunch of tweets, though. You kind of want to try and get it all done in one go and get your point across, and that's not always the case. So, if you do follow me on Twitter, which you can do, or you don't have to, you might see those sort of tweets, uh, not the most positive towards uh, Disney's uh, Star Wars films, but um, no, I like uh, the George Lucas films. I love the prequels. I appreciate the prequels even more as I get older. What George Lucas was doing, um, now they connect with the uh, original trilogy. Uh, but, you know, uh, I think also it's when you take the creator out of uh, the uh, the Whatever it is there that it was, like if it was like a video game, you'd get them out of it, or if it's like the like a book series, usually authors don't usually let others carry their work on, unless of course they pass it on, pass on, and they've either said somebody can do that or they got permission from the family, then sure. But you know, if they're still alive, that usually doesn't happen, unless they just get tired. And they just think, sure, people can have more, but they don't want to write more. So they might get somebody else to continue it on after they've already told the story they want. Um, with Star Wars, um, uh, for me, I've always thought, without George Lucas, it's not really Star Wars. He was originally supposed to be a consultant on those movies, the original movies, or the, or the Disney movies. He was in the original movies, uh, Scratch that, but you know he was supposed to be consultant, and his treatments were to be used. Though that was more of a sort of a gentleman's agreement and handshake uh, sort of thing, and it wasn't uh, unfortunately for him in the contract when uh, signing over to uh, his company to Disney. It was never stipulated that his treatments have to be used. And any and all treatments or whatever that he has used or whatever will be ma uh, made. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. I think. Um, he uh, yeah. I've recently saw a, a video regarding like, the prequels and the original trilogy and how what in. Inspired George Lucas uh, to making them, and there. it was a very well put together video. Um, might leave that in the description uh, below this video. Um, hopefully, I can remember it. Uh, 
who want to remember that. I think it's a good video. If you're not really fond of the prequels, it's kind of interesting. And they also go and delve into some of the big uh, internet critics who are very heavily um, uh, against the prequels and um, like Red Letter Media, for instance. And those reviews. Uh, they don't go in all in depth about, or like not too in depth about why their criticisms aren't aren't the best or all that well rounded, but they just kind of give certain points and also try to illustrate how the ones who are critiquing um, those movies online don't really know films themselves. They just sort of watch them, but they don't understand movies. Um, now, of course, some of the people who watch my stuff, they do, do reviews. Or, at the very least, talk about movies. And for me, like, they, they know what what kind of... they You know, they're they're very well knowledge about movies. That are, they have a, a big variety of films they talk about and, like, you know, the way they talk and watching them and, you know, they, they grasp a very good concept, and uh, some, uh, I think some aren't fond of the prequels, which is completely fine, um, everybody does, no, never, not everybody has to like them, you know, I like the prequels, I like the original trilogy also, I think because my favorite film, uh, not just Star Wars film, but also my favorite film of all time is, uh, A New Hope, or the original Star Wars, that kind of bumps the original trilogy up just a bit uh, for me. Um, you know, if I had to choose one, which is the best or my favorite or both, that would be the one I would choose. So, in a way, by default, the original trilogy is a bit better than the prequel trilogy for me, but for me, they're very neck and neck. Um, I love all six pretty much equally. Um, though, I guess if I had a... Uh, be critical, or was going to be critical and give a certain numbering system or whatever, uh, it could vary, you know. Some movies will be a lot higher, others the score will be a bit lower, but, you know, still within the passing bracket, I would believe. You know, I don't believe anything, I don't see it, uh, any of these movies in my view if I was going to be really critical, less than, say, like seven out of ten, or three out of five, whichever you want to uh, it go by. Uh, but I don't really do that, I because I'm like, I, it's very hard for me to rate movies, and Star Wars in particular, it's kind of hard, because as I've illustrated, I like all of these films, these films, um, pretty evenly, and um, I've always, uh, I've loved them ever since I was a kid. Um, ever since I can remember, uh, I've watched the original film, The Unaltered, on VHS. Then getting older, um, seeing the special editions on VHS, and then seeing the prequels in the theaters, and then getting all the DVDs, and then eventual Blu-rays. Um, as of now, I don't have the 4K uh, editions of these films. I might sometime in the future, um, but you know, I don't know as of now. Uh, I know this video is on my, uh, uh, being uploaded in live on my birthday, but you know, as of now, I'm, yeah, uh, I don't have them on my birthday, so. I, I haven't gone out to buy them either, so. Um, and also because, you know, because I love the original six uh, quite a bit, there isn't just like a, say, a six box set of them. Uh, I have to buy them individually, and eh, those are quite pricey, so. Like if I was, or at least if I was going to get all of them together, they'd be quite pricey individually, uh, depending on where I would get them, if there was a sale, if I was to get like 
two or three. That could be like a sixty, ninety dollars. Because they're about thirty where I live. Uh, thirty dollars, last I saw. Um, so there's that. Um, but yeah, I just I just enjoy watching Star Wars. Um, it's just the story is just great. The characters are great. I uh, for the first six, I really love the but watching them in order one through six, the beginning and then the end. Uh, Return of the Jedi really does feel like a great conclusion to this story. I just love it. Um, I think uh, that is where the saga ends. The Star Wars saga ends there. Um, it's always interesting how it's about the Skywalker saga. That's something that's a bit new. Before it was always the Star Wars saga. Now it's the Skywalker saga. Um, but, you know, I guess it's because the Skywalkers were in the, uh, the films that Disney uh, produced. So, so there you go. Uh, but, you know, I just... This is just me. This is my thoughts. Again, you can disagree. You can say like, that you enjoy the Disney films. Um, and that's great. That's cool. Uh, uh, I just wasn't that fond of what they did uh, with the story and the characters. But again, I've already illustrated that. But I just love the one through six. I just love the story of uh, rise and fall of Anakin into Darth Vader and basically like the rise of Luke and how there's parallels between the two characters and how Luke in the end could easily go to the dark side but he essentially remains true to being an actual Jedi what a Jedi supposed to be what Jedi's were supposed to be in the prequels but unfortunately their hubris blinded them and Qui-Gon the only one who is truly the, uh, a, what a true Jedi should be uh, you know, he was on the council and he was trying to you know, train Obi-Wan to uh, uh, know what it's like to be a real Jedi I thought it was going to train Anakin in that way but then unfortunately he got killed by Darth Maul and then Obi-Wan had to train Anakin, who, you know, has teachings from Qui-Gon, but then he's also, you know, there's the Council, and he's, you know, it's like, you know, they're the Council, they're, you know, they have to know what they're talking about, they, they're, you know, they're the highest-ranking Jedi, like, you know, so, you know, they, they're very knowledgeable, so why wouldn't you, like, listen to them? Um, it's like he has sort of a, I guess, sort of kind of a fusion of Qui-Gon's teachings, but then those of the Council's teachings of what they say and what should be, uh, should, uh, go, um, what should be the ways of the Jedi. Um, probably always conflicted when training Anakin because of that, you know, this isn't necessarily for the, what the Council will do, but that's what Qui-Gon would do, and that works here, but maybe that doesn't work here. It's probably quite conflicted. Um, um, but, yeah, there's that. Uh, I know... Uh, uh, I know there are people who aren't fond of the prequels, and, uh, again, that's completely fine if you don't like them. Uh, it seems the original trilogy, at the very least, is, uh, you know, what people agree is a are great films, they're all good films, um, you know, you know, they're films that you can watch and enjoy, where, I guess, depending on, uh, where you were, or, not necessarily where you were, but, uh, how old one was when they saw the prequels, that might not be to their t taste or their liking, so, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's, it just depends. 
And I don't think it's like, oh, I'm old. That's why I don't like the sequels. The Star the Disney films, this you know, the, it's called the Star Wars sequels. You know, I don't think that's it at all. I think it's uh, it's just, you know, I'm just not fond of the consistency in there and how it's not really sort of things seem to kind of contradict or make things uh, not matter in the previous films that were already established. That's kind of what turns me away from those films. Not really enjoy them or see them as Star Wars. Along with the uh, not having George Lucas involved in any way. Um, and even he himself said they didn't want him around. They didn't really want him to be there. But, you know, but they were going to have him be there you know, as a consultant because, well, said that was going to happen, but, you know, because he doesn't have the company anymore, he, they wouldn't be doing things the way he wanted them. And because he doesn't own it, he, he can't make them do things the way they want. So he just stepped away from that. So I understand. Um, and I understand why he also sold, you know, the, the company. Because, you know, he wanted to do smaller films, films that are experimental, sort of like THX style, THX 1138 for those who don't know, it's his first film, um, and some of the short films that you can see on YouTube. Um, he wanted to do stuff like that, um, but like, you know, nobody wants to see things like that today. today. It's not going to attract people. It's not going to make a bunch of money. And George Lucas himself has often said that he just stumbled into popular movies by accident. He never thought Star Wars was really going to be a huge thing. You know? you know, he wanted a lot of people to see it, but then again, with his experience with THX 1138, uh, you know, with what he wanted to do with Star Wars, maybe he might not appeal to a whole lot of people. You know, American Graffiti was his movie that was to appeal to a broad audience. But, uh, but not... Uh, but he wasn't sure about Star Wars, and up until the release of Star Wars, he thought it was going to be a big failure. And that make a bunch of money opening weekend, but then after that, it's going to fall off, and nobody will care about Star Wars. And he might be able to make his next movies of that uh, that series, but you know, just have three, and then he just make other stuff. Um, but you know, it was successful. And uh, I remember somewhere somebody was talking about, I think, a biography of George Lucas and said, like, how he read, like, uh, what George Lucas wanted for, like, episodes 7 through 12. Yeah, two more trilogies from George Lucas. And how 7 through 9 were really the most action-packed. And how, basically, uh, what George Lucas wanted was, he watched them in order, you know, of each generation, that movies get more and more dark and more mature. So as you age, the films kind of age with you in that, and with the tone and everything. Tone gets more and mature each trilogy. Um, so I guess, and from what I saw from the quote, he uh, saying like that's the most action packed, and seven through nine was the most action packed, and I guess ten through twelve would have been like the finishing off, so the huge big fighting would have already been done the previous trilogy, now we're trying to, I guess, resolve uh, whatever conflict George Lucas really wanted, because we don't really ha have a good, clear picture, we just have stuff that George Lucas has said, and sometimes his ideas of kind of, sort of varied, depending on what he was thinking, like sometimes, you know, I remember reading, like, George Lucas considered having Having Luke have a wife, maybe a child, kind of like how he, in the books, there's Mara Jade and Ben Skywalker, uh, his wife and son. But, you know, then uh, other things like he wouldn't have uh, a wife, wouldn't have a child, but it seemed like he considered whether or not that would happen. You know, we wouldn't necessarily know for sure. There's various things with what George Lucas has said, be it in actual interviews that you can watch or read. 
uh, things he said. So who knows? Maybe he had various f outlines or treatments for what could happen with those films. Um, and I'd be interested. It'd be quite cool if they release those as books just to see what George Lucas wanted. You know, we have a clear picture and could see in our mind as we read what he wanted. And uh, we might not ever get to see that. Uh, I doubt he'll ever, you know, say what those are, those ideas are. But, you know, uh, I guess it'll be one of those things we'll just wonder about. And, uh... Sometimes uh, the best stuff doesn't get made. Uh, but, you know, I love the films that he did, did one through six, produced and wrote. Uh, five and six, didn't direct them, but he was very instrumental in the creative process in the filming to answer any questions the directors had being on set here and there to ensure uh, there weren't problems with production. And, you know, he's a very hands-on guy. And I just loved what George Lucas gave us uh, for Star Wars. Um, and I don't want to be too, you know, negative with the Disney stuff, because, you know, I've said what I've had to say on those movies, and really I want to talk about positive things. I want to talk about stuff I like. I know those don't always get as many views, uh, and I've never really t titled my stuff to where, you know, they would get a big uh, boom because, well, here's what I think, and well, that's not a very positive uh, outlook on those movies. The other, the other thing, uh, so I like franchises I like, uh, with that have contained uh, some films that I'm not fond of. There's really any hall, but. That's a movie that kind of always bugged me, and just I was never fond of. I uh, was never, you know, fan of. Never been a fan of it, uh, Woody Allen's humor. Um, uh, though I do say in that video, I do enjoy some Woody Allen films. He has made good movies. Um, yeah, I, and I still do maintain that. I love Midnight in Paris, Radio Days. I think Zelig's a very good film. Um, Shadows and Fog are, is also good. Uh, I've heard Broadway Danny Rose is good. I'd have to check that out one day. Um, if I can somewhere. But yeah, I, you know, I think Star Wars was the superior film. The original, this, I, I still believe this deserved best picture, director, and screenplay over Annie Hall. And not just because it's my favorite movie. It's just a better film, in my opinion, overall. Uh, uh, Annie Hall, for me, was just quite... I found it to be a annoying, uh, kind of a chore to watch. <clears throat> because you know, it stars Woody Allen, and he's always himself. You can't play anything but himself. And it was just... It's the only movie I've ever seen where I almost fell asleep. That's bad. Um... But if you like that movie, then great. That's cool. Uh, you can disagree with me. Um, you know that is not the end of the world. You know we can agree to disagree. You can like it. Uh, I don't. I've tried to rewatch that film a couple of times now. I've never been able to make it through after that first time. You know, not able to get, make it all the way through after the first time. I should say that. I should clarify. In case that doesn't make sense to some people. But, yeah, that's me. It also could be my my sense of humor. Uh, and Woody Allen's humor does not match. I, I don't really go for that kind of humor. Um, but, yeah, that's... That's me. Uh, anyway, it's uh, really all I have to say. I'm gonna today on my birthday. I'm gonna watch these films, uh, or at least episode four. 
I watched my favorite movie on my birthday. I might watch the others later. Uh, depending on when I get up, because it's Saturday, so sleep in a bit, and then uh, watch them. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope uh, all of you have a great day, and I hope you all have a great week. I hope you're having a great weekend, and uh, see you all next time.